Hi, I'm Luke Lango, and this is Quick Picks, where we communicate to you some of the market's best investment ideas in just three minutes. Today, we're going to be talking about a red hot e-commerce stock named Wayfair, ticker W, that while it's come a long ways in a short amount of time, has a lot longer ways to go over the next few years. We have a $300 stock today. I think that goes to 600 bucks. Here's how we get there. Wayfair just reported Q2 numbers, and while they were supposed to be good because of the COVID-19 pandemic, which shut down offline stores and forced everyone to the online channel, they were much, much better than expected. They were outstanding. I'm talking 80% plus domestic revenue growth, 90% plus international revenue growth, 40% customer growth. What these big growth numbers broadly underscore is that Wayfair is not just another online furniture retailer. They are top tier, top shelf, cream of the crop, best in breed. They are, for all intents and purposes, the Amazon of online furniture. Being the Amazon of online furniture is such an exciting place to be right now because this online furniture space is on the cusp of rocket ship like growth, right? E COVID-19 came in and accelerated e-commerce penetration across all verticals, especially in underpenetrated verticals like furniture. Prior to COVID-19, only 13% of furniture sales happened in the online channel. That compares to 30% plus in apparel and 40% plus in consumer electronics. Electronics. Now, you might be saying this is just a flash in the pan, but it's not. Furniture stores reopened in July and August. Wayfair in those months still sustained 70% revenue growth. So despite offline coming back, people stuck with online, people stuck with Wayfair. Why? Because they're realizing the online shopping experience is far more convenient and just as robust as the offline one, so they're sticking with it. Now, some pundits are saying that Wayfair stock has come too far. The valuation is maxed down for that reason, it's not going higher. But that's not the case. If you do assume that the online furniture category starts to look like the apparel and the consumer electronics category, so 30 to 40% online penetration, and that Wayfair acts like the Amazon of this space with 30% plus market share, and that economies of scale really kicks in and all this big revenue growth allows Wayfair to, to follow in Amazon's footsteps and start to become profitable. Well, then my numbers indicate that Wayfair could do $30 in earnings per share by 2030. Slap a 20X forward multiple on that, which is average for consumer discretionary stocks, and you're talking about a $600 stock in the long run. So no, Wayfair stock at 300 is not ma maxed out. On the contrary, there's still 100% upside potential left. Well, that's all we have for this edition of Quick Picks. If you like what you saw, please remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you like to read, come visit us over at InvestorPlace.com where we have some of the best analysis on the market. Until next time, cheers and happy investing to all.